Based mostly on intuition and common sense, we hold that a live cat is different from a dead cat or a rock. Yet, there are some who maintain that there is no such difference. They claim that if there indeed were a difference, it would be scientifically verifiable. Evidently, their definition of different involves only that which can be proved scientifically. Most religions hold that only humans possess a soul and consider all other life forms to be inferior in that context. However, it is irrelevant to distinguish between soul, mind, spirit, etc. or debate whether they exist in animals, insects or plants. Let us define the term life matter as whatever soul, mind, spirit and the like makes a living being alive. It is what makes a live amoeba different from a dead amoeba or a speck of dust, irrespective of whether science can provide an evidence of what that difference is. From my perspective, all life matter is identical regardless of the size or complexity of that species. What distinguishes one species from another is not their life matter, but rather the size or complexity of their physical body the life matter happens to reside in. I hold that life matter belongs to the LTS and resides in the physical body when the body is alive. Death pertains to the physical body, not the life matter, which does not age ache or get sick. It occurs when life matter lets go of the material body and reverts into the LTS, wherein the perception and relevance of time-space will almost certainly be non-existent. Those claims call for a need to distinguish between life matter that is in the body when the body is alive and life matter that has left the body when the body is dead and is entirely in the LTS. Let's call the former life matter in and the latter life matter out. In my view, life matter in is what grants all living beings free will. I hold that free will or its equivalent is what causes all living beings to be unpredictable from one moment to the next. My view about life matter out is that it retreats entirely into the LTS and does not interfere in any way with our time-space universe. Atheists and agnostics generally contend that everything ends at death and that there is no hereafter. In the philosophical sense, they see no difference between dying and, say, turning off a computer. Evidently, it is their prerogative to subscribe to that version of blind faith. Thanks for your time.